what up you guys see the title let's get straight to the point so i love k cars k is the way i've owned 12 k cars in the last three years and i just learned about k cars like three years ago honestly i bought a that had to high jet that was cool two-seater pickup and then i was like yeah it's kind of too small let me get a k-van and then after i bought that k-van my mitsubishi bravo that's really where everything changed that's where i fell in love with it that's where i realized hold on for less than ten thousand dollars i can buy a car that's one of the coolest cars at the car meet fit for people have a huge amount of trunk space good on gas take it on road trips like k vans like i've been saying over are still my favorite type of k just because it's like everything in one except speed speed is when it's probably the worst and if you're your first time watching one of my videos or you guys just want another breakdown on how i view k cars because i get a lot of comments of people saying hey you should keep the z forever you should keep the cappuccino forever you should keep the minica forever or why did you even buy the minica to begin with it is in a cool k car the way i look at it in the way that i kind of form my channel is there's not a lot of videos on k cars just in general there's not a lot of people who make videos on like cappuccinos as much as people love them there's really little to no videos on the honda z same with the minica even the most popular k cars which is like the trucks i guess you could say there isn't too much content on them especially not three years ago so the way that i look at it and the way that i form my channel is that every car is kind of like to help you guys out on like a little project so i buy the cappuccino i change the plugs the rims the tires the radio interior stuff you know make the car a little better and then when i'm done with it i sell it and then i get the next car then i help the next community out i help the honda beat people out i help the deck van people out i help the k van the k truck the honda z like as of right now i can only really think of two people that have honda z's in america and i'm hoping that after i make all these videos people are more likely to buy these because i still don't even know how to change the air filter i still don't know how to do a lot of maintenance on this car that's why i haven't done it yet and just imagine of me having three years of experience kind of working on k cars non Stop ordering parts in Japan like I could find anything for Japan at this point but it's still you know a little unweary and I want that to kind of go away when it comes to K cars the first question people always ask is is it hard to find parts where do you find parts I can't go to AutoZone it's really not that hard there's so many proxy services that we could use so when people ask me why I don't want to keep this forever or this forever is because I want to keep this and enjoy it for as long as possible but then I want to sell it and I want to buy a deck van I want to buy a Super Vivio I want to buy AZ1 I want to buy the Hatsumira I want to buy the newer generation stuff that's coming out now the k trucks with the little hoods in the front there's just so many cars out there and for me to keep this forever is kind of a disservice it's kind of like a it's like a short-term lease i enjoy it i love it i make it better i sell it to the next person they see me drive it they see that's reliable they see me drive it all the way from los angeles and then the next person enjoys it and hopefully they sell it and get another one and another one and another one but the reason for this video and the title as you can see is that i need to sell two out of my four k cars in my opinion the cabbage is not going anywhere i want to at least enjoy this car in the summertime i bought it in november drove her home from la i still haven't really been able to drive with the tops down i feel like i gotta own this at least until summer and then i'll maybe sell it we'll see where i am financially this guy it's not really for sale but you know just for shits and gigs if someone gave me like eight thousand for this i'd sell it I don't even know actually. I said one gave me for between eight and ten. It really depends on the circumstances. Then I'll sell this. But this car isn't really for sale. I just got it. I just drove it to Philly. Like I'm loving the Honda Z so much. The two that I want to get rid of is one, this guy right here. I'm not sure if we should start with the cappuccino, if we should start with the Minica. Let's start with the Minica actually. The Minica is pretty straightforward. So this is the first car for sale. It's my 1998 Mitsubishi Minica. I got this about four or five months ago. Got it completely repainted white. Added some rims, got those painted white as well. Brand new tires, painted the calipers yellow. We added some LED headlights, underglow. This is registered titled in New York. So this is already titled. You don't have to worry about anything like that. Interior, super clean. It's a H32V, added a radio, AC, heat works, drives great, has 70,000 kilometers. We could do a test drive real quick. Headliner's nice and clean. Let's pop the hood. Under here, I did spark plug, spark plug wires, air filter, added a nice blue strut bar, has a new radio, added that blitz radiator cap. <laughs> I don't even remember doing that. But you know, I did all the preventative maintenance for this car to continue to be reliable. And I've been driving it basically every day before getting the Z. For this guy, I'm probably gonna list it on Facebook Marketplace around 5,500 or six. But if you're watching this video and you're a supporter of the channel, I'll probably sell it for like five. It's titled, it's reliable, it's runs, you know, it has a history. It's not one of these cars that you just see come fresh off the boat and people say, hey, it runs great. Like you guys been seeing me drive this car for the last four months with absolutely no problem. Here's a look at the back. These seats go down, of course. 
it's really like a big two-seater with a large trunk also has the spare tire and everything back here it's a it's a good daily like you know if you just want a normal little k car to get you around town that's kind of why i got the minica it's automatic i don't mind that at all it even has rear seat belts but this guy if i had to compare it to a k car i would say it's pretty similar to the honda life that i had but now we can start it up fires right up that's a cold start i put the leds on put the hazards on has an etc reader too that i added do a 360 with my phone real quick turn signals everything works leds Now that it's warmed up a bit, let's drive it around. Has power steering too, which is great. I'll go straight actually. It's pretty quick too. It's not like cappuccino quick or anything like that, but like if I punch it, like... That probably didn't look very welding, but I'm telling you, for an automatic K car, it's not the worst. I've definitely driven cars that take much longer to accelerate. And if I want to be like sporty and put it in two, it picks up a lot faster. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun. It's like, like I like this car so much. I remember when I first got it, everybody was like, why are you getting this car it's so ugly, blah, blah, blah. But like, I kept it. I kept it for pretty long. Like, I get, you guys are probably don't even remember this car. You guys, everybody probably thought I sold it, but I've just been driving it. Like, there's no reason to make videos on it. Like I said, this guy's done. I repainted it, bought rims, painted the calipers, added a radio, added ETC reader, added a strut bar, did all the preventative maintenance. There's, what more can I show you guys on the Minica? Like, it's good. It's, it works perfectly fine. I could pull the e-brake and slide. Like, look at this probably couldn't see it because i had the camera low but i could pull the e-brake and slide like this thing is just a very fun daily like i would rather pick up my groceries than this in a cappuccino i'd rather just do any really normal driving if it isn't spirited driving if i'm not planning to go fast or do anything like that like the minica that's why i got it that's why i love these automatic k cars like people have been saying damn i love the z but i wish it was stick not every car needs to be stick there's no shakes there's no sounds Seventy thousand kilometers what is that like forty two thousand miles the locks are manual everything is manual it's like it's almost like dummy proof there's nothing that could really break on this car it's carbureted too which for better for worse but for me hasn't really been a problem especially in the cold like it just fired up right now no problem the froster works radio works i could change this real quick speakers work <coughs> has bluetooth has aux has a car charger it's not a smoker's car or anything like that but yeah, I guess we could park this one up. Like I said, I want 5,000 bucks. I don't really see myself taking less. As much as I want to get rid of these cars, I also could technically just waffle them. That's a, something I can do. I don't really feel like doing that for this guy since we already did that. But yeah, hit me up if you want this. Hit me up on Instagram. I can help ship it or deliver it. Like I said, comes with title, all good. But now let's go look at K car number two that I want to sell. So I purchased this 1993 Suzuki Cappuccino really just for one reason. I wanted the seats. Mine had racing seats in there and I hated them. I didn't really want to wait to get them exported from Japan. So I say, I'll just buy the whole car. I'll swap the seats and then I'll just sell it. I didn't know it was this rusty. Like I knew it was bad. I knew that the guy was selling it and i've seen it before but i didn't know it was like you know i put my foot down here and you guys can see the outside world i didn't know it was like that but even after finding that out for the price that it was listed for i was like i can't really lose at the end of the day the motor is kind of like two thousand dollars include that with the ecu the transmission everything i said worst case scenario i really just break even to my surprise this cappuccino has been a blessing it had an N1 ECU, which I don't know what you want to value that at. Let's just say it's 500 bucks. That was a big help for this guy. It had like little, little tiny things that I needed that I didn't really care about, but I transferred over it to this guy. So this guy has the limited seats, the limited wood grain. I took the steering wheel from that guy. I took the speed sensor from there. I took the N1 ECU, like I mentioned. I took this from there. You know, little things kind of just to make my car better. I didn't take anything as far as like driving goes. Like this car fully drives. I'm going to 
gonna see if I drive it on the road. I don't know if I really wanna do that just the way it looks, but I can definitely drive it there and back. You can drive it onto the trailer. It still drives. I've done nothing to it as far as driving goes. So that's why the car looks like this. I have no problem selling the fenders, the bumpers, the headlights, the taillights, but I'm not selling the door to anybody. I'm not selling the roof. I'm not selling the trunk. A lot of people ask me that, but like I still want this car in the back of my mind to kind of be a safety net for this guy. So I'm not really in a rush to sell, but at this point, you know, 4K cars, let me just throw it out there. Let me make this video. So like I mentioned, it's a Suzuki Cappuccino Limited. That means it has the LSD, which is pretty sought after. I could pop the hood. I'm going to start it and do everything. But as the way it currently sits, including the seats, I'll include the driver and a very mint passenger seat. I'll show some photos on the screen right now. I want 3000 bucks. And I know that might seem like a lot. Uh, of course, I'm negotiable, but every negotiation comes with things coming off the car. So if you want to negotiate, just bring your own wheels and we can work on the price. If I'm able to keep either seat or both seats again we could work on the price but as far as that goes that's pretty much it i'm not really trying to keep anything else i mean if i keep the hood i guess we could kind of work on it some more just because i kind of want a safety net for my hood but i keep the hood we could take a couple you know 50 bucks 100 bucks off whatever that may be but the car would basically come essentially like this it does come with some extra goodies back here I'll still include this. I know these kind of go for some money. That works. I'm. You could even have the headlights for the 3000 that I want. If not, let's take that off. Let me keep those. And then in here, there isn't really much worth saving. I mean, there's a radio here, but I don't think you want that. It does come with this cluster, which definitely has some value. Comes with the center console there, which has some value. And then the roofs, of course, everything, the mirrors, these guys. I'm not going to take any of that stuff off because I'm not going to bring it down $5. That's not really worth it to me. Let's pop the hood. Show you guys the most exciting part. Had to add my hood prop. But under here, again, nothing was changed. The only thing I swapped over was this because mine was leaky and I added some tape and put that back there. This also has a little crack that mine had. You can see... The intake there but that's nothing the battery still works haven't touched any of this i'm not lying to you guys i start the car right now all this is exactly the way i bought it even comes with an oem key which is pretty sweet my red cappuccino doesn't even have that cold start it hasn't been started in i couldn't even tell you how long I'll get my phone now so you get a better look at all this. So in my opinion, it seems like whoever has it in Japan kind of just wanted like a little OEM Plus car. It's a limited, so like I mentioned, it has the LSD. It also had the N1 ECU, but it had no modifications. No blow valve, no strut bar, no nothing. Nothing to kind of make it sporty and cooler. But it did have N1 ECU. Like that's when I found it. I was like, wow, I cannot believe it. Oh yeah, it has some rust right here too. If anyone's thinking of putting this on the road, I, I definitely don't recommend it at all. I think this is perfect for somebody who basically just wants an extra motor. Maybe you need the LSD for yours. Maybe you need the windshield. I mean, the windshield alone is probably like $1,000. Comes with the doors, the roof, the glass, all that stuff. But like, I'm not even really putting value on that. I'm really just putting value on this. The whole drivetrain, the ECU, everything. The only thing that I did change, I'm now hearing it, is that I need to put some zip ties right here. Because you can hear the vacuum leak. If I squeeze this, it goes away. And the car is kind of back to normal. But I need to put some zip ties over this. Because it's kind of shaking a lot. But... Let me see if I can drive it up. Let me move this stuff out the way. <laughs> Hopefully I don't Flintstone and fall through the car. But... Even just starting this car right now, you guys can't see my face, but I'm just like, why would I get rid of this? Like, this is a potential swap for a future K car. Like, I know I'm gonna take the $3,000 or whatever, but even then, it's not really worth it. We go into first, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. Got my foot down on the clutch. I'll give it some revs right now. Has an exhaust leak. I guess we go straight now. You can see that I'm moving. <laughs> go reverse. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. I can't see behind me. 
Yeah, the car still runs and drives. I mean, oh, I took out the rear sway bar. I forgot. I took out the rear sway bar and sold it to somebody. But again, nothing that's like, oh shit, this car can't drive anymore. But yeah, here it is. The cappuccino. Starts up. Drives good. I definitely could drive this on the road. It would actually be pretty funny if I did. But you can see I can drive it straight back. No issues. Probably even stalls. Like, I'll keep it in gear right now. Look. Just stalled out. I'll start it again. There it is. Rusty Suzuki Cappuccino. So yeah, first person that comes with 3Gs. This is all yours. You can keep the rims. You can keep the headlights. You can keep the hood. You can have this seat along with this mint black passenger seat. No rips, no nothing. And you could drive it onto the trailer with no problem. I mean, I drove this car when it was all put together two hours from New Jersey, no problem. And I always felt like this cappuccino was super quick. Now I knew it had an N1 ECU. But like it drives good. It runs perfectly fine. It just seems like someone had it maybe covered in Japan and that's how we got all the rust. Or the person didn't drive it. It came on winter tires, which, you know, could kind of explain the rust. But I'm in this video here. Hit me up with any offers. This guy, $3,000. Minica is $5,000 with title. And then Honda Z, if somebody wants it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really in no rush to sell that all. But if somebody really gave me like eight, nine thousand, $9,000, it's all yours. And then this guy, this one isn't for sale. But you know what? Someone gave me $20,000, it's all yours. But obviously... That's not realistic. But catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Hopefully both of these can sell this week so I can start looking forward to maybe my next K. And always, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Here's some bonus clips of me and Minica today on the highway. I'll show you guys how it does. It's automatic, so obviously it doesn't get there the quickest. But I would say comfortable around... 70 to 90. I think 100 is kind of pushing it. My foot isn't all the way down right now. I'm just cruising, flowing with traffic. If I put my foot all the way down, you can kind of hear it. It picks up. I'm about to switch gear right now. And then now I'm in third gear, going 80, cruising, and then I could even go faster. Get up there to 90. And usually here I'm like, okay, I'm good. You know, there's no tack. There's no reason for me to really be pushing it too much. And then again, there's traffic in front of me anyways. But still does good on the highway. Don't mind daily driving it. Literally, I could have drove the Z or anything today. But again, I don't mind whipping. Honestly, <laughs> since this is just bonus footage, I almost would sell the Z before the minigun. Like that's how much I like this car. But all right, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.